Before we show you around this futuristic capsule hotel and you watch me get shocked on the streets of Mexico City, I wanted to let you know that for a limited time, you can try Fairdrop for free. No credit card required and no strings attached. If you haven't already heard of Fairdrop, it's the service we created to make sure you never miss an incredible flight deal. Every day, we search millions of different flight combinations to find the best deals. And when we find one that meets your travel preferences, we send you a notification with all the information you need to book the flight before it's gone. We'd love for you to check it out and hopefully we can save you hundreds of dollars on your next flight. The link for the free trial is in the description below. It's a bittersweet morning. It feels super weird being the people riding in the back of the van and not the one sitting up front in the driver and passenger seat. If you missed our last video, my parents flew down and they are driving the van all the way from Cabo back to Tennessee for us. Life has seasons and today it truly feels like one of those seasons is ending and a new one is beginning. That was deep. It's true. There are definitely more emotions than I expected this morning. Porto. Thank you, love you. Have a good trip. Gracias. Have a good day. Well, that felt strange. This is the first international flight that we've taken since the beginning of COVID, where we haven't either had to show proof of a negative COVID test or vaccination. And this is our first flight together in 2022. Isn't that crazy? So we had to take our annual pick. I can't take her anywhere. It's like Mexican lasagna. Instead of noodle layers, it's tortillas. Okay, so today we're starting our journey from Cabo, Mexico to San Jose, Costa Rica. But we booked these flights super last minute and the best flight option included an overnight layover in Mexico City. We've slept on airport floors many times, but we're not on the same backpacker budget that we used to be. So I booked us something a little more comfortable for tonight and something that I hope will make this entire trip a little more memorable. This is so cool. What is this on our chair? Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. For information, I'm going to give you a flight time to Mexico City. It will be one or 40 minutes. Goodbye, Bob. It probably had a large part to do with the overnight layover, but for some reason flying business class on Aero Mexico was almost the same price as flying economy class on other airlines. So today we're flying premier class on Aero Mexico, which the current perk of is a little table that blocks the middle seat. It's the tiniest figures I've ever seen. been sitting on this flight, I have a lot of feelings. When we first crossed the border in our van, I was over the moon excited about this three week road trip. But deep down, I felt like by the end of it, I would be ready to move on. But now that this trip is over, that just could not be further from the truth. We have lived in our van for two years. It's such a big chunk of our life. And I'm just so glad that we're ending it with such good memories. Like it truly was the pinnacle of van life. I can't imagine a better trip. I mean, who knows? Maybe we'll move back in one day, but it won't be for a really long time. Me gusta. Be advised that the use of power outlets, USB ports, as well as in your personal devices and access to Welcome to Mexico City. For information, look at time. Three. All right, and now to find our home for the night. Currently following the signs that have these two sleeping people and hoping that takes us to our capsule. Sleep pods? The location of this place is super convenient. We're about 100 meters away from where we picked up our bags. Except there's no AC in here. Soft. 
This is different. So the setup in this capsule hotel is totally different than the one that we stayed at in Bangkok. When we first checked in, they directed us to locker rooms, which were separated into male and female. It kind of feels like a, a YMCA locker room. There's lockers to store your stuff and the numbers correspond with the capsule that you're staying in. There's sinks, hair dryers, very private bathrooms, and also showers, which we definitely didn't have in Bangkok. So it's nice to have a designated space for only people who are staying in the capsules. So we have this little welcome package at check-in, which includes hand sanitizer, earplugs, Wi-Fi passwords, and a pair of socks that they ask us to put on before going into the room that has the capsules. It's kind of like being in business class on an airplane. <laughs> I guess I'm sleeping with my backpack tonight because it's definitely not fitting in my suitcase. It's so dark and quiet. Wow, this place is huge. 119, this is home for the night. whisper in case anyone else in here is sleeping because the walls are very thin. <laughs> They're not super soundproof. I guess that's why they give us earplugs though, for people like me, talking to themselves in their capsule. Also, this is pretty much an exact replica of the capsule that we stayed at in Bangkok. So the first thing I notice is that the sheets are almost translucent and you can see through the cover on the pillow. These sheets kind of disturb me. <laughs> It's a weird way to say that, but. It's not terribly uncomfortable. Just kind of reminds me of those special sheets they used to put on the bed when you were little in case you peed. There's this very fluffy, beautiful down comforter. I absolutely love the white and cleanliness of it and like the blue lights in here. Just makes it feel really clean and sanitary. Over here on the control panel, we have a USB port. Pretty sure this turns all the lights off. Ooh. That really makes it feel like a spaceship. Ooh, come back on, please. Hello. There are different levels of brightness. This giant mirror also has its own light that you can turn on and off with this button. Pretty sure the one in Bangkok had like different colors you can make the lights, but I haven't found that button yet. There are not one, but two audio jacks. This is a one person capsule, so I can't think of any reason why you would have two of those. There are also two USBs, which I really appreciate. And a power socket, but most importantly. This knob controls the fan. Then up here you have two vents. It's a little warm in here if I'm being honest. There's a safe to put any valuables. There's a fire extinguisher over in the corner. There's a little hook to hang some clothes or your mask. In case I want to get any work done. Looks like there's a... I want to get some work done, I have a lap desk. Also, there is one button on this wall and I pressed it. It's the emergency button. About 30 seconds later, the lady that checks us into the capsule showed up to make sure that I was okay. And then after that, I proceeded to leave my key inside of the capsule, which locks when you leave. So I had to go get her to let me back in. My first couple minutes in here have been a disaster. Then right above your pillow, you have not one, but two reading lights. Okay, one thing I definitely don't remember from the Bangkok Capsule Hotel is the rooftop television. I could just fall asleep to some TV. I don't ever watch TV, but for some reason it feels like I should in here. Overall, I think this is great. It's super comfortable for a short night. The only real bummer is that here they separate them by gender, so we can't have a sleepover again. Maybe distance will be good for us. We've been in a van together for a long time. So we could just go to sleep now and get a good night of rest before our early morning flight, but we've never been to Mexico City before, so we're heading into the city to meet up with a friend and make the most of the evening. Mexico City! And now to find Mike. Hey. 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 This is our great friend Mike. 
also known as Fearless and Far. Do I hold him to the neck? He makes some of the craziest travel videos on YouTube. Things are looking good. He's lived in Mexico City on and off for four years, so we're excited to spend our first night here with someone who's basically a local. Okay, so this game is called Toques Electricos, which is an electronic shocking game. Oh my god! And so he turns up the dial, and you have to last as long as you can, but I actually can't let go of these right now because there's so much voltage. So I have to tell him to stop. Okay, 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 okay. Dun, 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 dun. Oh my god. Why do you do this? For fun, Kara. So, no, you win, you win swagger points. You win, you win ego. So this is extremely homemade, by the way, and it's not safe at all. There's no safety standard. What are we doing? Normally, you all hold hands as a group of friends. Yeah. And the first person to let go loses. Oh no! <laughs> oh my gosh. We haven't even eaten the taco yet. That's level one. It goes to ten. Look at these four. I, get, I have no control of my phone. Okay. Okay. okay, I'm done, I'm done. <laughs> Oh my goodness! It's like I just went rock climbing for two hours. I feel like, like I need I to do that on my abs. <laughs> <laughs> what an experience! That's something I never would have done without my gear. All right, taco number one. This place is called Birria Colorado. Birria is like a stewed goat dish. A stewed goat. Scoot. <laughs> that electric God. shock really got to his brain. <laughs> the one thing I picked up here is Mexican people, people always do this for yes. They always go like this, and I picked it up. Oh, that's really cute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, birria, and they boil it, they stew it in this soup. Do we dip it in the soup or no? Why not? Okay. Let's do it. <laughs> Great first stop. Mm -hmm. Tacos de Pastor are one of the most famous tacos in Mexico. There's like a rotisserie and you shave it off like a kebab. And then you put on pineapple, cilantro, and onion. This place though is famous for having three different kinds of pastor. A red one, which I think is the normal, a white, and the black. We are trying all of them. Each. Why did you share? I'm going to start with the negro. I love it. I really like how tiny these little tortillas are. It makes it feel more authentic. Work it! This girl just walked up and stole my man. Glad we made ourselves go out into town for a few short hours. Definitely sad to be going to bed alone, but I think I'm so tired that it's gonna be fine. <laughs> okay, see you bright and early. Until my alarm went off in the middle of the night. So sleepy. Check it took forever. We've both been awake for over an hour, but Kara is surprisingly pleasant to be around. Where's the coffee? We're almost to the lounge. We accidentally ordered a feast. We're having chilaquiles for breakfast, which is kind of like breakfast nachos. I'm so happy. That was, without a doubt, the best Centurion Lounge experience we have ever had. I'll take that. And we didn't even go to the spa. 
Our flight started boarding four minutes ago, but we're not in as big a rush as that guy. <laughs> I've been up for way too long for the sun to just now be rising. All right, now we have two hours to Costa Rica. I'm pretty sure this is the first pre-flight drink that we've been served on a flight. It's just water, but it's exciting. Welcome, Thank you very much for choosing out of this Welcome to Juan Santa Maria International Airport of the city of Costa Rica. <sighs> Man, I've missed this feeling. Collapsing into a random hotel bed after a long travel day. 